As you probably know, cleaning is one of the biggest hassles of home brewing. So stick around and see how I clean my kettles without a sink and test out a new addition to my brewery. Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Home Brew. Today, I'm going to show you how I clean my kettles right on my brew stand using a washing machine tub. And I'm also gonna test out a clean in place spray ball. So let's see how this works. When it's time to clean my kettles, I grab my 30 by 27 inch washing machine pan and place it on my brew table. This pan has a drain port on the side I use to attach a short garden hose to a drain pipe run alongside my garage. At the end of the pipe, I have another garden hose that runs outside into my yard. After the drain is hooked up, I fill my kettle with six to seven gallons of water. Since I have an electrical element, I like to heat my water before cleaning the equipment. I'm not going to add cleaning solution for this overview, but if I were to clean these kettles, I would first start by adding PBW to the water, clean the kettle, and rinse the cleaner out. Then I would add star sands for the rinse. This pan makes it really easy to clean inside and outside the kettle. I also use the pan to wash pretty much everything else in my garage brewery. And now let's install my new clean in place spray ball. A CIP spray ball is used by breweries to automate the cleaning process, allowing brewers to focus on more important things during a brew day. They can be adapted to many things like kettles, fermenters, kegs, and bright tanks. I purchased the Blickman CIP spray ball and I'll post a link in the description. For my initial test, I'm running six gallons of 130 degree water through a Blickman Riptide at various speeds to get a sense of the type of spray I get inside the kettle. I'm testing out the CIP, the clean in place spray ball, and it's working great. I've tested it at the highest flow settings and the lowest flow settings. I really think it's gonna help speed up my cleaning times. After I'm done cleaning, I let the water drain right into the pan. The large pan allows me to completely dump all the water with ease and also allows me to clean other parts of my brewery as well. Since I have a faucet on my brew table, I like to give it a quick spray down before I put the pan away. The breakdown of the brew stand pan is pretty quick. I just disconnect the hose from the pan, throw the pan against the wall, and then wheel my glycol chiller back into place. That wraps up my overview of how I clean kettles in my garage without a sink and also a trial run of a CIP spray ball. I really think this is going to help reduce cleaning times during a brew day. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.